Nation. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. Okay, Babel. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly nose fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jayfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I spy a dolphin. Listen. She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm. I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? Here we come, little dolphin. Ooh. Whoa! It's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi. Oh, hey, Larry. This is Babel and Tabs. Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right. It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. How can the dolphin see in this murky water? Think, think, think. Oh, I know. The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Incredible. Amazing. Awesome. We should try making clicks like the dolphin. Look. The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey, there's the dolphin. We found her. Wait, come back. I didn't get to say hello. That's it. The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babel. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm. How about... Oh, what an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> To the Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Wow, I love our cool Blippi mobile! You're right, Debo! Our car does have amazing things! Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> 
Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. Now down we go! Oh no, Devo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, oh phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast! Oh no! My coconut shovel broke! Mine too! Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey! I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa! This hole is super tiny! Are you sure you can fit? Never fear! Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh. Ah! Whoa! Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! I'm free! Hooray! We did it! Roar! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait, Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. 
Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! Debate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi Wonders! You can't catch me, Mika. Ugh, it's so hot. I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh. 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 oh no! I wonder what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are! Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet. Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. Next up. Let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh, no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now, let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hmm, I think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear! Is that your toy, Debo? Don't worry, I'm on it! Dead gummit, it's not working! We can help! <laughs> it worked! Yeah! Ho oh, ho! Now this is the best part of fixing things! When it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> bye, y'all. Bye bye. Growing up. Now who's ready for a popsicle? Me! <laughs> Land ho! <laughs> Hide our treasure first, mate, Debo! <laughs> I love playing pirates! Me too. What is it, Debo? Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map! Hmm, I wonder. How do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey, that elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? 
According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we going to do that? Look, a rope ladder. Nice work, first mate Debo. Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! Marks the spot. <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure, and I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map, and to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! Fetch, Debo. Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. Good question, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirm. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. Me too. Whirlpool. Whoa. Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa, look how small I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne, you're so small we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa! Whoa. Catch that thing! 
Push! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup, <laughs> even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle. Whoa! Oh boy, here we go! Ah, there. My sand castle's complete. Ha, I did it! My dream came true. Thanks for being a gem during my erosion. It was a blast. And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. Buh bye Goodbye! See you later! Wow! Look at those birds! Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savannah for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool. Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions. Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Ooh. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Flippy and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Debate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. <laughs> Whoa, what a beautiful day. Flippy. Did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm. I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. 
It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must, must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie, here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do, and it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. to protect the Earth. We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. Is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home When it's the home for you and me that we call home. Woohoo! I'm in the lead. Ah, baby chick straight ahead! Change course! Silly somersault! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Tabs. Hi! I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder, how can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? All I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. <laughs> I found you, Rainbow Leaf! Hey, Penelope! Wait for us! <laughs> it's so squishy! <laughs> Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? Um, no. But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. Penelope? Uh. <laughs> 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 
We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. Mm. <laughs> oh. That looks like fun. Oh. Come on! The cows are this way. That was fun! Hey, Tabs! Tag! You're it! Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, whoa! Woohoo! Whoa! You can't catch me! Woohoo! Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. Debate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> Woohoo! Ooh, time for bed. Aw, but we're having so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Flippy. And this is Benjamin and Debo. Well, hello there. Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet. We need to go through my bedtime checklist first. Pajamas? Yeah! Check. Brush teeth? <laughs> Check. Okay, Mr. Book. We're ready. Ooh. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit. That sounds like Debo. Oh, no! It is Debo. We gotta save him. Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue. Whoa. Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ooh, that was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <sighs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> All right. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop. <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. 
Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy, makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi Wonders. This is going to be the best English feast ever! I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh! Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa! Tabs! You look like a knight! Hmm, I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool! Can you show us what a knight does? Of course! I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right! Fire when ready! Whoa! Was that a tomato? Probably! The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle! Take cover! Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> Are you okay? Yes! My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment! <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes! <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Oh, 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 oh. Mm, a doggy dish. Sir Pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. English feast! I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea! Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippi and Lady Tabs! Wow! What an honor! And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye-bye, Sir Buttercup! Fun in the sun? Here we come! Good idea, Tabs! I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh no! I can't find it. Hmm, I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no! Is it really that important? What are we gonna do? No! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay! 
Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right! Now we can finally have some fun in the sun! Hey there, Boom! Blippi! You can't go play yet! You missed a spot! Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made! Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no! That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippi Mobile. Go, Blippi, go! I'm going to need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoppa! Save that sunbather from sunburn! All right, Tabs! Let's protect some skin! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Tabs! Now left! We did it! Growing up! Whoppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senor Super Sunscreen! And I got the answer to my question! Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! <laughs> ah, Italy, what a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. Hi, Paola. We love a slice of pizza. Oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh, but I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm going to need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! All right, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough, huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh. Ooh! This strengthens its structure! Woohoo! <laughs> wow! The next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge! One, two, three! Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce. All right. Woo! <laughs> the next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? 
the sauce is hot lava. <laughs> now it's my favorite part. Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever. How about mushrooms? Olives coming through. Our smiling pizza makes me smile. Me too. It's time for the last step. Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula. Time to bake the pizza. But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot. Careful. Careful. Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao, Paula. Grazie for the pizza. Buh bye bye. <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Blippi. Let's go! <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you want to have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi. When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye Debate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders. <laughs> I hope Grandpa Blippi gets his birthday card in time. 
Hmm, I wonder, how does a letter get to where it needs to go? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and follow the letters to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. I wonder where all these letters and postcards are going. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Lana the Letter. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Lana, we're wondering, how do letters like you get to where you need to go? <coughs> Whoa! What's happening? We're moving one step closer to our destinations. <laughs> Just stick with me. <coughs> Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, hold on! We're in for a bumpy ride! Lana, where are we going? We're being transported! Whoa! To Grandpa Blippi's mailbox? Not just yet, we're at... Oof. The post office! Whoa! The post office! So cool! Whoa! Oof. Now... It's time for us to get sorted. Sorted? How? First, by size. Just think like a letter, Blippi. Huh, yeah. Wee <laughs> Once us letters and packages are sorted by size, we are sorted to face the same way. Woo! Hey, that tickles. And then the letters are scanned for their stamps. Oh, no. But what if I don't have a stamp? I got you covered. Yay. Wait, where's Debo? <laughs> He's probably enjoying the ride, just like us. Here you are, Debo. Where are we going now? To the mail truck! Hey, <laughs> the truck takes every letter to the exact mailbox it needs to be delivered to. So cool! Next stop, Grandpa Blippi's house! Whee! Bye, Lana. Thanks for helping us get around the post office. Bye, Blippi and Debo! What do we got here? A birthday card from Blippi? Hot dog! Aw, he loves it! And I got the answer to my question. A letter gets to where it needs to go by being dropped in a mailbox, transported to the post office, sorted, then delivered by a mail truck. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! I'm so excited to watch the rocket launch, Debo. Wow! It must be so cool to go to outer space. Hmm, I wonder, what's it like to be an astronaut? Great idea, Debo. Let's fly up to space and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Blast off! There it is, Debo. Hey there, space explorers. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Rihanna. We're wondering, what's it like to be an astronaut? That's a great question. Come on board and I'll show you. Awesome! Whoa! Welcome. Debo, you're floating. That's because gravity, the invisible force that keeps your feet on the ground, is weaker in space. So you float. Astronauts call this zero gravity. Whoa! Hey, Debo, 
How about a snack? Oh no! Those snacks can jam up my sensors! Don't worry, Rihanna. I've got this. Um. 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 Hey, Blippi! There's one more over here! Um. Astronauts eat special food from special containers that you have to add water to, as well as fresh fruit and veggies. Over here! See? You have to put the water back in so you can cook the food and eat it. Wow! <gasps> oh no! Debo! How did you get out there? He must have gotten out through the escape hatch. Blippi, I need you to go out there and fix the rocket's navigator. All right! Blippi, wait! <gasps> you need to wear a space suit to go on a spacewalk. Oh yeah! Hey! Come back here, Boot! Now you're ready. The spacesuit will protect you from the cold temperatures of outer space and provide you with air so you can breathe. Whoa! Hmm, I think I need a special tool to open this hatch and fix the navigator. All right! Thank you, Blippi. You fixed the navigator. Now I can keep exploring outer space. Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. What's it like to be an astronaut? It's awesome! You get to float around in zero gravity, wear a spacesuit, and go on spacewalks. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Don't forget about the space food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Rihanna. Buh bye bye <laughs> Race you to the ball pit. OK, Blippi. Paddle ball, activate. <laughs> Whoa. Silly somersaults. Totally awesome, Debo. <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Oh no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? Excited! Ready? Go! Fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no! Is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! Hugs? <gasps> <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? 
Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down! <laughs> awesome! Now we're ready to party! Yeah! Hit it, DJ d -bops. When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet! I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Woo, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> now we've got the same moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ d -bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance-off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends. And it's so much fun. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance-off? Round two. <laughs> it's on. Dance on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders! Wow! That looks great, Flippy! Yeah! Now all that's left to do is make the horn sound like a bruntusus. Bruntusus brown. Let's sound it out. Bron to sore us. Brontosaurus. Awesome! Stupendous! Perfection! Oh, wait. I don't think this book has a section on dinosaur sounds. Hmm, I wonder. 
Where can we find more books about dinosaurs? Oh, I know. Let's try the library. Great idea, Babble. What? The Bronto Mobile <laughs> is ready for adventure. All right. Yeah, books. <laughs> Shh. Sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hi, I'm Katie the Caterpillar, here for any of your library needs. And I'm Babble. Oh my, oh my. A whole section of balloon animals? I love books so much. Hey, Katie, can you help us find the dinosaur books? Of course I can help. Wait for me. I want to come too. Ah! Whoa! Oh no! Whoa! Oh, Blippi! Whoa! 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 Yikes! Welcome to the travel book section. Fish. Oh no! Katie! Uh, thanks, Blippi! Look, we've reached the fiction section! Ooh! Fiction means the stories are make-believe! Look out! Whoa! How to ride a bike? Where is how to ride a library card? And there's non-fiction! Non-fiction means the stories are real! Over there are books about magic! A whole section on dinosaurs? Shh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Tabs, can you help me carry these, please? Dinosaurs from A to Z. The biggest roar and more. My friend, the Triceratops. Hey, Babel, do you think I have too many books about dinosaurs? You could never have too many books. <laughs> Excellent choices. Thanks for your help, Katie. And I got the answer to my question. Where can I find more books about dinosaurs? At the library. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Activate. Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Last one to splash has to take out the trash! <laughs> Wait! Worms! Whoa! 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 Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. What's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. <sighs> I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Huh? Whoa! Yeah! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. 
Don't worry, that's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Devo. That does look like fun. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster! That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um... La, 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 la. Oh, that's right! Number three, to find a friend! I love the rain! I love the rain, too! We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? <laughs> worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La, 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 la. <laughs> Bye-bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time. Get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa. Look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be?
and I got the answer to my question. Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Ah. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering so I can turn all four wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that! Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the day of the dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea. We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. 
Great idea, Debo! We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa! Just follow us! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. We can make orange juice. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, my third favorite thing is musica. I love music. Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa! You're welcome, Paco! And I got the answer to my question! To celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, look at that. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. <laughs> You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm. I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? <laughs> Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie. The Argentinosaurus! Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino! I have to break it up to say it right! Ar-gen-teen-o-sor-us! That's me! So, I'm on my way to meet a friend! Oh! Oh! Do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us! Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast! Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall! That 
steps as long as three school buses. And a little taller than a telephone pole. God. Up the hill we go. I be your bridge. Whoa. It tickles. <laughs> yeah. This is where I meet my friend. Hey, good shot, Devo. We're both in it. Oh, and look, so is my friend. Sorry I'm late. Hey, this is my good friend, Nina. Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm. I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi, y'all. Welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are a twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. OK, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. 
It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi, y'all. Welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa. Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello. We're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no! I've been having
having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bare version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! <laughs> Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea. We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait, wait a second. Are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Better button turn. Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! 
It is me. Just dip your hands in the water. Get them sized up on the soap. Make a circle with your hands and blow. Whoa, it's bigger than you. Check this out. Catch me if you can. I've got new heights to reach. Keep flying high, Marvin. And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. You're right, Debo. The snow has blocked the Blippi Mobile. <coughs> hmm, I wonder. How are we gonna get out of here? <coughs> Whoa! <gasps> oh, look! Whoa, yeah! <laughs> I'm an excavator. use their trunks for. You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the 
the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our bodies. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose. <laughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island! Hmm. I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? 
Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gold left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet. Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around. <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea. You're like a mountain. <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye-bye, Flippy. What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. Huh? You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? <laughs> Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! 
But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Streaking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfectly? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm happier than a pig in mud. What a great adventure, Kipley. We found the treats. And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley. Thanks, Bliffy. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa. Whoa! That one's blue. That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shh. 
Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast. It takes the fireworks as high as the air. Whoa! That's pretty high. Good idea, Taps. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great! Even in the air. Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs.